What's up, guys? Hey. Welcome back, episode eight. Mm -hmm. And as promised with last episode, we're gonna talk about Capture the Flag. Guillotine. Even when I lose my head. Even when I lose my head. No longer double O's yet. You know, I accidentally left that clip out of the last episode. Yeah. Where we talked about 007. Oh man. I have the theme song in it, but I accidentally left that out of the episode. We're sorry, guys. A little bit different this week. I'm gonna adjust that. Okay, some lame people are just like, story time constantly, but we're gonna be those cliche lame people. Story time, guys. So, before we start, probably a good idea to explain what Capture the Flag is to those who haven't heard us talk about it a million times or weren't there. We have two elite teams. Good, Basically, good the, the objective of the game here is to uh, capture the flag, obviously, mm -hmm. but... A little bit of a twist yeah. with this one, though. You use whatever means necessary to capture this other team's flag. There is airsoft. It's not an airsoft game. That's a very big misconception that we fight every single year that everybody thinks you need airsoft to play this game. That is simply not true. I ran around with a shield and a sword. As you will figure out, that did not turn out well for me. It was still a great game, though. And I think it was way more interesting because I did not have an airsoft gun. That's my rant for I airsoft agree. and capture the flag. I agree. But basically, you get the flag any way you can, and then you win, and you get glory for 364 days till the next capture the flag. That's right. And the greatest part about capture the flag is when I say the term anything goes, I mean anything, anything goes. goes. Well, now that you kind of have a general idea of what Capture the Flag is, what do you say we jump right in to tell us some stories? First off, the starting this year was the greatest I've ever seen. We started were, like 50 feet from each other and didn't even know it. It was awesome. Yeah, we were like literally right on that center line. And I had a super loud air horn you could hear from across the map. And we fired that thing off. As soon as I fire that, I pick up my shield and I just book it off onto the enemy side of the playing field. And then we kind of break our way off into the woods. I start to hear footsteps while we're in the woods. And so we start to make our way through dense forest up towards a trail. I wait there a little bit, try and contact the rest of my team on the radio. They're not picking up. And then I, I hear a whole group of people start coming up the hill. They're on the trail, literally right in front of us. And we're all crouched down the side of this hill me and five other guys behind me. I'm radioing my guys, trying to tell them, hey, there's this massive squad. And then I hear the radio click. I hear the, the feedback on the other side. Turns out, these are friendly players. These aren't enemy players. So I start to try and let them know, hey, we're over here. And they hear us talking. And they open fire on our whole squad. And there's just screaming and yelling going on. Needless to say, we alerted the whole team where we were at. You have a story? Of course I have a story. Let's hear it. Well, you know how Isaac met up with like three quarters of his team right there? Well, I found them. Unfortunately, my team divided up into teams of four. And Lane and I are kind of coming and playing this corner really well. You know, we're, we got our shields up, sword. We see three people. It's like, we can take three people. That's nothing. So we start walking forwards. We come a little bit further. And I see Isaac's shield. I'm like, oh, there's Isaac. There's, there's five of them. Okay, we still got this five on five. That's, that's five. That's a good five. And I see Isaac's finger. There they are pointing out towards us. And I see the, like three players head snap. And it's like, oh, shoot. And they start shooting at us. No, but I do see two heads right over there. Break down the tree. I got two heads this way, back up! I got legs right here! I got two shields! Hey, it's two shields, one gun! Let's move! Let's move! Three shields, two guns! Come on! This is about to be a hardcore fist fight! Still no big deal. I have a shield, I don't care. 
I don't have a gun, but I have my shield and my sword. That's all I really need. And I'm, I'm walking up. And then I kind of get a little further around this turn. And I see more people. It's like, uh, I'm not sure I've got this anymore. So I kind of stop. Like, I don't really know what to do. And I start backpedaling a little bit. Cause, and then start seeing more people. And you can see this. Isaac is standing there and he literally has 10 people come flying around the other side running towards us shooting. At this That's point, right. we're in full retreat. Like there's five of us. We've stumbled on a 15 people. That is not a fight we can win. We know it, especially only having, we had two airsoft guns in our squad of five people. The rest of us had swords and shields, or just shields in John David's case. Let's move! Move in there! All right, there's about to be a gladiator fight going down right here. Hey, watch it! This trail loops around! Watch your back! So we backed up this hill, expecting to be able to fight our way back down it. Well, people came over the side of the hill, and we got caught in the crossfire, and that ended with, with some capture. Yep, I got captured for all of maybe a minute during this game. It was great. What I really got caught mainly because before the game, I drank maybe a half bottle of water all day and going out on the field and drank some Mountain Dew and running halfway up this hill, I cramped up and I like had to lean against a tree for support. I was dead. And Mikey kindly provided me most of the water from this camel pack without knowing it. Guys, it appears I've been captured by Mikey. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to flip the camera right now, so hopefully y'all can see. But the rest of us got captured too. Overwhelming numbers, big time. <laughs> right as I'm planning my escape, so I, I reach over, I drop my weapon. I reach over, slide my shield on my arm. I start reaching my hand back up towards Mikey's foot. I'm about to yank his foot out from under him. I hear John Davidson and go, they're letting us go, Cody, stand up and walk. What in the world's going on? Cause there are eight people standing around, four of my guys just down the hill. And he's like, yeah, they're letting us walk. Yeah, you know the problem with that? We didn't have, Cody was not on my team, which you probably figured out at this point. We didn't have me or the team captain, Josh. These were completely inexperienced players, with the exception of Mikey, who was dumbfounded at what was happening. And one other dude questioned it, but everybody else was like, all right, you're right, we really don't want to fight right now. You know, y'all can walk, you know, we'll, we'll split our ways and look for the flags. So we walk up this hill and that's how I got, I was captured for maybe all of them. Not even, I guarantee you it wasn't three whole minutes that I was captured. And I spent most of it chatting up with my good buddy, Mikey. It was great. I will say, I got shot mm, so many times this game. Like, Yeah, this you, is the before picture. All right, and then this is the and after. Do you see the difference right there? And that was just what my shield got shot. You gotta think, this shield only covers about from my neck to my waist. Unfortunately, I was not in the majority of the action for this game, so I don't have footage of a lot of the big action sequences. For those of you who have never played a Capture the Flag game, first off, I want to see you there next year. It's five bucks. Seriously, come. Yeah. If you don't, it'll be sad. If you were part of a Capture the Flag, let us yeah. know your stories. Maybe we'll mention it in the next episode. Capture the Flag, we'll be talking about it for a while. I can promise you that. And on that note, yeah. this episode's coming to an end. I, we have a script for these things, but I forget about it all the time. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, like the video. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts as always. Follow us on Snapchat for daily updates. And check us out on Instagram. See yeah. some awesome posts. Some pretty sweet stuff. You might even get glimpses of what's going on in the vlogs before the vlogs release. You never know. That's right. So on that note, I'm Cody. Isaac. I'm Cody. And, and we'll, we'll catch, catch you later, later, my dudes. Oh. We didn't even miss that high five.